Elizabeth Holmes was sentenced today to 11 and a quarter years in prison. This is her punishment for four counts of criminal fraud. In January, a jury found her guilty of defrauding investors in Theranos, the blood testing startup that she ran. The judge's decision actually falls very close to what was recommended by a probation officer who worked up a independent report which recommended nine years in prison. And the government recommended 15 years in prison. So the judge was kind of between the two of them and he was nowhere near what Elizabeth Holmes wanted, which was the maximum of 18 months. The main arguments that we heard from the government were that Elizabeth Holmes set about to lie and intentionally defraud people. She did this knowingly. The question the community has is, does this work? If you believe that it does, I'd like to hear you say that. I know it does. They also talked about how she had never shown much remorse or taken responsibility for her crime, and in fact claimed that she herself was the victim. The defense in response really played up Elizabeth's character, um, her role as a mother, the mother of a toddler and a pregnant woman who will soon have a second child. The defense submitted to the judge more than 140 letters from supporters of Elizabeth Holmes. Along with those letters, there were a number of pictures, and in particular, Billy Evans, who is Elizabeth Holmes' partner, submitted a four-page photo collage of their family. When Billy Evans submitted these photos, he did redact the face of his young child to protect his privacy. It was really in an effort to show her as someone who you'd want as your neighbor or best friend or someone in your family. And it was quite a humanizing moment for Elizabeth. The judge did today issue a surrender date of April 27th of next year. So that means that on April 27th, that's her time to, to head to prison.